My question is about the Necro Butcher. I know Jim was involved in the Ring of Honor CCW angle where Necro knocked his tooth out, and then Jim proceeds to cut my favorite Cornette promo of all actually, time. Actually, actually that was uh, attributed to Low Key. Oh, well, there we go. That was attributed to Loki, not Necro Butcher, but we, it was in the CZW angle that I was, you know, uh, working with Necro Butcher and everything. But just a clarification, but go on. What was it like working with Necro? And do you think he could have been a bigger star in a different era? I think wrestling nowadays is missing guys like him that look crazy and tough and not just a bodybuilder. Yes, and you know, here's the thing. He's a he's he's a nice guy. I don't know where he is now. Haven't seen or heard of him in ages. He was a nice guy, and believe it or not, as you heard more about him, he apparently had a genius level IQ. Um, he was. I think Black Bart is down in Texas. One of the first guys that broke him in, as I recall. I talked to him a couple times at some of those Ring of Honor tapings, and but he had a, a high IQ. But just one of those guys with a different outlook on things, so he did not go into something you would think that a guy with a high IQ would go into. He went into hardcore wrestling. And I could he worked barefooted with all that shit that he did, whether, you know, and I mean, this was not on the Ring of Honor shows, but on other shows, thumbtacks, broken glass, mousetraps or whatever. He's out there taking bumps on concrete uh, with bare feet. Had no physique to speak of, but he was a tough son of a gun, obviously. Didn't care what you did to him. He'd take full slams on the floor, you know, people could do whatever. It was just, if he had come along uh, 20 years beforehand and was, for lack of a better term, produced by the bookers and the promoters at the time, he could have been like a Pampiro Furpo or Sheik or Abdullah the Butcher or crazy guy. He was big enough and hairy enough that even though he didn't have any physique, he looked like he could do some shit, right? A, a killer Brooks without the big stomach. And if he had been in the territories where you weren't allowed, obviously, to do certain things, both by the bookers and promoters and also by your opponents, and they could have concentrated on him doing legitimate wild brawling wrestling shit that would have got heat with the people and would have got heat on the baby faces <clears throat> and been a ugly heel with, you know, no teeth in his mouth and all this other stuff. He probably could have worked on, a, on, you know, in a number of territories, but as it was with the hardcore shit where they just did everything and there was no semblance of trying to make it look realistic or credible, except that it really, they really were hurting each other, but you could tell they were cooperating. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, so, you know, with that, it, he just, you know, it was more of this hardcore wrestling bullshit that just a small segment of people like, you know, this fucking fat fucking Ian Rotten's fans or these goddamn insane clown posse fucks or this fringe element of society wants to see and get a kick out of where they know that the guys are working together with each other while still really hurting each other instead of working. And that's, you know, it's just the antithesis of what our business was supposed to be about, but but that was the atmosphere he was in. So that's what he was doing. And, uh, so that's why, you know, unfortunately it, it, it when we were trying to take ring of honor in a, a direction of spotlighting the athleticism and the, the athletic competition and really, you know, hard hitting good work and believability and shit. It just, it just didn't fit. It's just a freak show thing. I'm not knocking the guy. He was very nice to me and he's a very nice guy, but you know, just somebody, you don't want somebody like that on your cards that does all that shit to appeal to a low common denominator of freak show fan. Because other fans, if you're going to get them, if you're going to get the mainstream fans, they don't want to be in the, would, would anybody in, in a WWE crowd or, or would anybody in back in the territory days that was in the crowd of thousands at the Louisville gardens or in the Omni in Atlanta or, you know, families and kids and grandparents and a whole cross section of people. Would they want to be in the same building with like insane clown posse fans or a lot of these fucking hardcore wrestling fans that just go to get drunk and watch people carve each other up? No, they wouldn't take their kids. They wouldn't want to be around those kind of people and it would hurt your business. So, you know, that's the problem is, Necro Butcher just was not a person that would draw the type of people that you would want to be in a in a wrestling crowd if you were really trying to showcase how 
uh, what an elite athletes these guys are, the the Tyler Blacks and the Davey Richardses and the Jay Lethals and the Adam Coles and the Briscoe brothers. The Briscoes were wild and and crazy, but not, you know, they didn't insist on carving each other up with shit and do obviously phony stuff with blunt instruments. So, it, it you know, that's that's the difference. It's a very small niche thing, which makes hardcore wrestling, which makes the rest of our business look bad. That's why I hated The Wrestler, the movie The Wrestler. Because it, it just, if nothing else, for people to think that that was what all wrestling was about when this fucking guy's doing the staple gun thing, the staple in the dollar bill to the guy's head. That was Nick. And I was in, well, that, there you go. There he was. You don't want people to think that's what fucking pro wrestling is. Because it's not, but some people thought it was because of that movie. I didn't want my cousin and his wife, who are older than I am, and 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 they know I've been in wrestling all this time, but they've never, um, they've never watched wrestling or know anything about it. Uh, they did. I didn't want them to see that movie on HBO or whatever and think, my God, this is what Jimmy's doing, you know. So it's just, it's embarrassing. It's a small fringe fucking thing, and and so. If he'd been produced properly, a long, long version of the short answer, if he'd have been produced properly back in the territories in the old days with what he could do physically, he could have been a fucking, you know, heel in a manager's group that could have caused some chaos. But, you know, as it was, it was unfortunately that's that's what he ended up doing was just being a hardcore guy. In the old days, he could have been maybe been Buck Robley's homeless brother. You never know. Yeah, as a matter of fact, there you go. Yeah. And, and actually, Buck Robley probably at one point was homeless. So he did. Yeah. The Homeless Brothers. That could have been a great gimmick.